everybody, Rob D'Alessio, Taste of Retirement. And what we're doing today is a pan-seared New Zealand rack of lamb. And then we topped it with a demi-gloss. Come on, let me show you how we do it. All right, pan-seared lamb chops with a demi-gloss that came from Espanol sauce. Now, if you look here, we filmed a video that had all five of the mother sauces on it, but Espanol's on there, it's awesome. What we did is we took that sauce, we reduced it down, kind of like a demi-gloss, but normally you would, you would strain that off and have a really glossy finish to it. We like to do things a little bit different here. We've got the New Zealand lamb here, and I just wanna show you, so, it's a New Zealand lamb. So that eye right there, that's a little bit smaller. So traditionally in the US, you're either gonna get New Zealand style lamb or you, they have Colorado lamb. Lamb is very, very big in Colorado. Um, and just so you know, if you wanna have New Zealand lamb, it's gonna have more of that gamey taste to it. So you have to kinda of like it. The, the domestic lamb in Colorado, it'll have a more mild flavor to it, but it'll be a much larger because they're fed on grain as well, where these are traditionally all grass fed. So I've got a pan going, I've got the, the stove getting hot. We're gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan and you don't wanna use olive oil or butter or anything like that because what ends up happening is you're gonna burn it or brown it and it just, it isn't any good. And so what we need to do is we need to season very well both sides of the lamb because lamb doesn't come seasoned. And, and so with lamb, you actually cook it the way you cook your steaks. We've talked about it before. If you eat your steaks well done, you probably shouldn't eat steak anymore. But other than that, season it both sides, just salt and pepper, and you really wanna let the meat you know, speak for itself. Place it down. So we're gonna go with about three or four minutes on each side. And then what you have to do is you gotta let it rest. Anytime like you cook steak or duck or lamb and if you're cooking it to like a medium rare or a medium something like that you got to let it rest a little bit afterwards because you want to let those juices render out all right so obviously starting to get a little bit of smoke we've got beautiful color on here we're just going to flip them over Get some color on the other side, and we're going to be all done. Now, traditionally, lamb, you like to serve it with some kind of starch or something like that. So maybe on a bed of mashed potatoes or roasted fingerling potatoes, something like that. Then like a green veg, maybe broccolini or broccoli rob or something like that. So it's going to be beautiful. But again, we're only doing like a, a couple, like a minute on this side, and then we're going to be done. Okay, so we're done. So we're just gonna get them out of the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the, the, heat, the heat off. Now, when you're grilling lamb, or if you decide to roast the lamb rack, like as a whole rack in the oven, you, you'd wanna put foil around the end of the bones. And the reason why is because it'll, they'll end up burning in the oven. It, it doesn't do anything other than it just doesn't look great. So if you put foil over them, they'll look great. But we've got them out. They're gonna rest for a few minutes. And then we're, what we do here is we just sauce. So we take that reduction. Now, if you like a darker color in your gloss, you could add, you know, maybe a little bit more red wine to it, different things like that. pan-seared rack of lamb from New Zealand topped with a reduced down Espanol sauce. It is absolutely fantastic. If you like what we did here, don't forget, go to our YouTube page, like or subscribe. You'll see amazing content just like this one. I'm Rob D'Alessio and this was a Taste of Retirement.